And here's to the class of 2020. You all have been through a lot of changes. You've been through four principles. You've been through a lot of structural changes. But one thing that has not changed is that every day you have made music in room W214, our classroom. And that is something to be grateful for and something to celebrate. Oh, the places you'll go after this. And here's where they're all going. Natasha Levy will be headed off to the University of Minnesota violinist. Her favorite orchestra piece was Estampus Nocturnus, which you just heard in the virtual concert by Manuel Ponce. Helena Town, clarinetist, she plans on attending St. Olaf College, and her favorite memory from class is when we do the silly uh, officer elections in the beginning there. They're super, super funny, especially those speeches. Her stand partner for four years in the clarinet section, Serene Puzak, clarinet, will be heading off to the Tufts University Favorite memories are from going on tour, Chicago and, and St. Louis. Rachel Springer, another clarinetist, will be heading to Columbia University, and her favorite memory is playing E-flat clarinet on the Nashville trip for Chester. Lily Carr will be heading off to Loyola University in Chicago, and her favorite band members surround the Basilica concert. Mine too, Lily. Her stand partner, Megan Boucher, from uh, playing clarinet as well, excuse me, is also heading to Chicago, but to DePaul University. Her favorite memories are from the junior year St. Louis trip. It was a really epic trip. Macario Ramirez Moriarty, another member of the clarinet section. That's right. Every single member of the clarinet section is graduating this year. Macario plans to attend Iowa State University. He also played uh, alto and jazz ensemble as well. His favorite piece was the Grease Medley from freshman year, which was a really fun memory for me. I hadn't thought of that one for a while. Thanks for reminding me, Macario. Ash Eisen, our bassoonist, will be headed to University of Wisconsin La Crosse, and their favorite piece was Pat a Pan by Shelley Hansen and Locke Loman by Frank DeKelly. Some great advice from Ash. Be yourself and be okay being true to being you. We'll put that one in the quote while after you. We get back to the classroom, Ash. Thanks. Maddie plans to attend Loyola University in Chicago, and her favorite memory was the bummer when we found out that the pool was closed on our epic trip to St. Louis. Andrew Duddingston will be attending Iowa State University. Tenor saxophonist with the band, his favorite piece was Vesuvius, which we sadly did never perform. Charlie Gravel, also a saxophonist, he will be doing a gap year next year to ski and then he'll be heading to Michigan Tech where they have a lot of snow I hear. His favorite memories are jamming with Lasse after class most days. Noah Willahite, saxophonist and bass clarinetist. He'll be attending Grinnell College. And one of his favorite memories is learning to play the clarinet just to play in a chorus line. Elsa Beeger, trumpet player, heading to Smith College. She has a lot of great little memories, just messing around with stand partners, and tour shenanigans, and hanging out in Mr. Wixon's office. She will especially miss playing in the pit orchestra. Also, she's still a little salty about the forgotten Trump tour pa- uh, Trump, uh, trumpet tour page. So uh, still sorry, Elsa. That's on me. <laughs> Jack Stillman's another member of the trumpet section, and he will be headed to Iowa State University. Isaac Vandermeid, another member of the trumpet section, he'll be attending Michigan Tech University. And his favorite quote is basically anything that Manny Laureano told us when he was hanging out with us. Colton, a member of the horn section and the trumpet section, kind of did both of those roles, and he'll be attending university, American University, excuse me. And his advice is pretty simple. Don't pick up a horn. Speaking of horn, Karen Lene is playing, uh, has played horn with us for four years, and she will also be heading to Chicago, but at Columbia College. I imagine these folks are all going to like hang out in Chicago, eating deep dish pizza. In. Her favorite memory is from our trip to St. Louis. Uh, Anders Erberg Carlson will be headed to St. Olaf College as well. He played, been playing the trombone with us for four years, and he has sort of set a record. He has played in more pit orchestras than any other musician I have ever met. He has basically played in every single musical that he could. It's pretty impressive and showed a lot of dedication. Thanks, Anders. Rain Wayne, tuba player. She'll be headed off to the University of Minnesota 
And her favorite memory is giving high fives at the state fair parade. And that was really one of my favorite memories, too. I loved that state fair parade. Luke Johnson in the percussion section will be headed to Vassar College, and he will fondly remember playing the quads for the pep and the marching events, as well as playing in the pit orchestra for Once Upon a Mattress. Katie Scott, another percussionist, will be headed to the University of Minnesota, and she has loved spending time in the percussion room with her fellow percussionists. Ben Stites, another percussionist, uh, will be headed to Case Western Reserve. His favorite memory is convincing Jorgen to pull out Aaron's toenail, which actually didn't happen, which was also on the St. Louis trip. Lasse Corson, another percussionist, will be headed to the new school to further his jazz piano studies, and his favorite band memories are playing in the various iterations of our drum closet and drum practice room. Cole Pivik, guitar player, is doing a gap year. I just gotta get this out of here, sorry. And his favorite memory is from our beginning and ending his days early in the morning and late at night playing music with the people he admires so much. Playing in the pit for Rent was the most humbling and incredible experience for Cole. And uh, it was for me too, Cole. It was such a fun pit. August McKinney will be headed to McGill University to further his jazz studies. And his favorite memories from Southwest are playing in the Bread and Jam. Adam Tibbs, guitar player, be heading to Dartmouth College. His favorite memory is playing in a jazz combo with his little brother. And now for the awards. This year, the National School Orchestra Award will be given to Emma Miller. She is a four-year member of the orchestra. Her freshman year, she was the concertmaster of string orchestra, and she has spent the last three years playing in chamber orchestra. Emma has shown incredible dedication. She's been a conscientious st student, both in orchestra and in Ivy music. And she also has played in uh, several pit orchestras, including being the concert master last year for the Beauty and the Beast Orchestra. It is my absolute pleasure to congratulate Emma Miller for this year's National School Orchestra Award. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award this year will be given to Everett Needleman, who has grown immensely in his four years in the jazz program. Every zero hour from freshman year up through the COVID era, Everett was bit played in a jazz ensemble. Whether he was playing in his jazz combo or in jazz two for two years and jazz one for two years, Everett has shown incredible dedication. Aside from being in the jazz ensemble, he's also been a pivotal drummer and percussionist for the pit orchestras, including Chorus Line this year, which had a lot of great jazz moments. So it's our pleasure to award Everett Needleman the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. And finally, the John Philip Sousa Band Award this year goes to Sigrid Schwarzkopf, a clarinetist and four-year member of the Wind Ensemble. It's a rare thing to be a four-year member of the wind ensemble or the orchestra. And Sigrid has done a beautiful job maturing throughout the four years. She has been extremely committed. She has helped out a lot with the band camps. She's been super helpful with pep bands. She is always there asking questions. She was an amazing IB music student as well. And each year you could tell that she was getting so much more and more uh, clear on her practice goals for clarinet and advancing as a musician. And so it is my deep honor to congratulate Sigrid for this prestigious award. And a big congrats to the Instrumental Music Senior Class of 2020. Good work, good work. We will definitely miss you. Thank you so much. And now we're gonna close with a virtual wind ensemble version of Southwest Victory. <laughs> 